Ben Harris was a talented guitar player. He had many friends and was in love with his girlfriend. The 15-year-old was killed in St. Andrews Saturday night. It sounded like there was a war going on, like nothing we'd seen, and we looked out the window and it was just crazy. And we said to ourselves, you know, well, we're glad that well, Ben's in the camper. Uh, you know, and, and sometime shortly after that, uh, we got a knock on the door from the police. John and Brenda Harris are still in shock about their son's death. What can I say? Nothing brings him back, right? He's gone and, you know, we feel like we're dead too. The crash happened here just before midnight Saturday night. Ben was riding his bike with a friend when a stolen truck hit both boys, throwing them into this ditch, a ditch that's just two minutes away from Ben's house. We keep Honestly, thinking he's going to come home. We're waiting for Ben to come home. Adding to this family's grief, the fact RCMP say the driver took off. Mounties alleged 29-year-old Justin Little of Calgary was impaired by drugs at the time of the crash. They brought in a helicopter and the canine unit to find and later arrest him. Little now faces 14 charges, including impaired driving causing death. Court records obtained by CBC News show Little has a long history with police in both Calgary and Manitoba. That past includes recent convictions for drug possession, heroin and crack cocaine, as well as violence. Uh, this, this can't be framed as an accident in any way. Uh, these are all decisions to steal a car, to drive under the influence, just to, to run these boys down and not to stay. Uh, I mean, not to take any responsibility and call an ambulance or do anything. St. Andrews Mayor George Pike says this tragedy has hit the tight-knit community hard. Very close. People go to school together, grow up together, the families live together in areas here for years and years. We keep Honestly, thinking he's going to come home. We're waiting for Ben to come home. The Harris family is glad the other 15-year-old boy who was hit is doing okay. They plan to meet with him soon and want the world to know who their son was. And I can say he's, he's the best boy, the best son that parents could ever have. Uh, he's, he's the best son that a man could have, you know. And we'll miss him terribly. Uh, yeah. They're planning a memorial for Ben and vowing to attend all of Little's court appearances. Austin Grabish, CBC News, St. Andrews.